www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. Uh, a video tutorial on how you can convert a raw audio file, uh, like what we have right here, into uh, don't want the extension it says .mp3 in there. Uh, you can use any file type uh, as long as it's a raw file, a raw voice file that you'd want to convert into something like uh, that sounds like drowning person, right? So yeah, we would want to convert this raw voice file, which uh, you can ask somebody to record that for you. Probably you can do it. Uh, if you're using that for a radio ad, you can ask your voice talent to record some of the sounds that he's or she is drowning. And you just want to use Adobe Audition right here. We have CS6 for the version. You want to convert that raw audio file it is something a little bit muffled something a little bit underwater something like that um, open up your file source right here go to desktop if that is your source you got something that says drowning voice raw dot mp3 I'm going to uh, let you listen to the file click drag hold drop on the editor view if you don't have editor view right here you can go to window you can just uh, check that in there so you can see it. Press home on your keyboard. Help! I'm sorry. Uh, let me go back again. Home and play it. Help! I'm dropped. I'm drowning. <laughs> right. This is sound like a, a person drowning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't sound like drowning to you, well, sorry about that. Uh, it's just the one I created earlier. For uh, I mean, as a preparation for uh, this tutorial, let me play that back again because it really sounds a little bit different. But help! I'm dropped. I'm drowning. Right to enhance everything, you would need a sound effect or an SFX audio of like a bubble or a wave, notion, something like that to blend in to make it completely somebody drowning. But right now, not exactly drowning, but just somebody uh, underwater, something sounding like that. But sorry if the voice file would sound like drowning. All right, so again, the purpose is to create uh, sort of like a drowning effect or underwater voice effect. All right, so what you do, Control A to highlight everything. If you want to make edits like this, cut that, cut that, cut here, invert, contour, reposition, fade in, fade out. Trim, volume up, volume down, pan right, pan left. That's going to be okay. If you want to know about that, if you don't know yet, you can just check out the list of videos that we have on YouTube. You can just check that in there. Maybe some videos might help you in some way. So right now, again, Control A to highlight everything. Go to the effects right on top. Scroll down a little bit. Then look for something that says filter and EQ. And right part it says FFT filter click on that and right here you got a lot default triad on hold then scroll down go to something that says underwater deep if you select that then you got a preview play button right here right you can't I mean, you can barely hear that because it's total, sort of like you're really underwater. So again, if you don't want to use that, you might need a, a sort of like water bubble, a wave, ocean sounding something to go along with that. So you could totally emulate the scenario that somebody is drowning. Again, for radio ad, probably for video production, you would need a lot of effects for that. So, if you want to just make it a little bit shallow, select underwater, shallow right here, then uh, take a look at it. Notice the contour, it's going to sort of like go out a little bit and play it. Oh, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. <laughs> right, well, one more time. Oh, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. Apply. Help! I'm dropped. I'm drowning. 
Alright, there you go. So, in case you'd want to use that effect, that will be your procedure and how you can create an uh, underwater effect using your Adobe Audition CS6. Again, for some other video tutorials, you can check out www.newtoboss.com and please do subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash newtoworks. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe.